All right, guys. So if you follow the program, or you're familiar with what we're doing right now, the 20 for 20, basically, fitness culture, the new year's, I don't want to say resolution challenge, but if you're looking to get on a program, if you're looking to eat right, if you're looking to reach your goals in 2020, start off with this. And what we're doing is basically, we're giving away over $30,000 in prizes as well, so you guys can enter in on that. Basically, we give you your workout, mobility, nutrition, all of that good stuff. Today, so the way the, the, way the program set up, push, pull, legs, day off, push, pull, legs, day off. That second push, pull, legs, that is gonna be higher volume. The first three days are gonna be a little bit lower volume, but a little bit heavier. So today, we're up in that volume, lots of reps today. So make sure you use proper form, even when you start fatiguing, you know, on that 12th, 13th, 14th rep, don't let things loosen up. Make sure that form. Today, mentally, this day is even harder, I think, because it's easy to kind of get loosey-goosey. Make sure that form's good. Make sure that lower back is nice and warmed up because starting off with sumo deadlifts. All right guys, so the first lift we got today is gonna be some high volume sumo deadlifts. Um, so we're just gonna go over the setup real quick on the sumo deadlift. We're using straps today because it is higher volume so we don't want our grip to be the limiting factor today. Um, and the reason and then, I like listening to Jake on deadlifts because the guy deadlifts PR probably around 750 pounds pounds like that's a lot that's like 370 kg check my math on that 355 kg i mean there's honestly a bunch of different ways that people set up for the sumo deadlift based on their uh, biomechanics but the way that we we usually coach it is to make sure that you're i try to go as almost as wide as possible because i have decent flexibility but you want to go as wide as you can and still be able to track your knees right down your toes and be able to sit down and get your chest up, right? And so then after that, as long as you can maintain that good uh, path with the knee to the toe, you just wanna make sure that when you pull, your knees aren't coming in and that your shoulders and your hips are raising at the same rate. So Steve did a good job right there. A bad rep would be, which happens to a lot of people, they try to pull too fast and their butt comes up <sighs> and they're using all back, right? So you wanna make sure, just really think about leading with your chest first on the sumo deadlift. Yep, good. All right, this one's going to definitely get your heart rate up. We got three sets, 15 reps, 90 seconds rest. So I'll definitely take one or two warm up sets and then get after it. You know, tempo on this, we're not worrying about eccentric here, we're just going a natural tempo. But again, make sure you use good form. Don't let that butt raise up. 90 seconds is up. You want to develop a good set of glutes. Do this workout. Yo, for real though, I'm already tired from my sumo deadlifts. And uh, we're moving into something that's gonna be even harder. So we got 20 reps on the leg press. Just a neutral, normal stance on that leg press. Right after that, we're going into 20 reps walking lunge. That's 10 each leg, so one, take a step, two, straight into 20 straight leg RDLs, 10 each leg. With the RDL, we'll demonstrate how to do that when we get there. Biggest thing, use light weight because it's gonna be the third movement. Your legs are gonna be blown up. And so to make sure that we're not getting sloppy, check yourself with the weight. 20 reps. Pushing through my heels.
two minutes rest after you're completely done with everything. The idea on this day, you know, similar to how I used to train back at Gold's Gym, Charles Glass. A lot of volume, a lot of supersets, forcing a ton of blood into the area that we're working out. It's a good idea in between sets to stretch. I'm gonna switch this first 10 up on this. Because we have 20 reps here, you can kind of put your legs in different places. First 10, I'm gonna do with my feet more towards the bottom, really focusing on that vastus medialis. Narrow stance, heels almost off of the metal, metal plate. And then I'm gonna go a little bit wider, toes pointed slightly out for the final 10. Last set of leg press, last round. I've said this in the past before. Kind of look at each set like uh, a coach saying, hey, time to condition, get on the line. Each set is gonna be hard. You're gonna feel that lactic acid start to burn, maybe something in your chest. Like, you know, if you were doing sprints, push through it. You know, you're not, it's not gonna get easier. This program's not gonna get easier, but you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna get better in shape, more in shape, you're gonna get better endurance. But each day, you're gonna push yourself harder too. Moving on, <clears throat> got that little metallic taste in my throat right now. It's good, it's kind of a sign that A, I'm not in shape, but B, you're working hard. So we're on leg extension now. Biggest thing here is to squeeze at the top third of that, mov that movement. So we come up, we're gonna half second pause, and then back down. We have 15 reps here. Really focus on, boom, squeezing at the top. Supersetting the leg extension with leg curl, quad and hamstring straight into a calf. 15 reps here, keeping the hips into the pads. So, calf position here. Got 15 reps. I'm doing five, five, and five on this. So, changing it up. Each and every time I try to focus on getting up onto the ball of the toe and then really stretching through that gastrocnemius. Biggest thing with calves, good stretch, good contraction. All right, 90 seconds rest. 30 seconds less than what we had on the last tricep. Ooh, lightheaded. Get a drink, right back into it. Pretty sure this song was about someone who did this workout. And the dance that goes along with it is because you can't you can't move to the other one. Wouldn't be a workout without a dance move, Jake. All right guys, we're finishing this workout. We're gonna be doing three rounds. We got 20 kettlebell swings, 20 lunge jumps, and then a 300 meter run. We're gonna rest two minutes between rounds. The vanilla girl!
gorilla. Guys, that's it for today's video. I don't want to see you guys for at least another week. Thanks for watching, but you gotta go. You can't see me like this. I'll see you next week.